It's fundamentally important to understand how flowering plants are related. If we understand how they're related, we can navigate their properties, we can better understand how they evolved and how we can take care of them into the future. So our new paper, uh, Just Out in Nature, is all about the tree of life, the evolutionary tree of life of all of the flowering plants. We've been working on it now for something like eight years. We've got about 60% of the way through and our agenda is to sequence one representative of every one of the 13,600 genera of flowering plants. This first big study draws data from the nucleus, which is different to previous studies, which have tended to focus on a little genome that sits in the chloroplast, the structure that runs photosynthesis. So we were really interested to see if the nucleus told the same story uh, as the earlier evidence, which thankfully it does, but we're having to make some changes to flowering plant classification. We've also been able to look with this tree at the trajectory of evolution over time. We've been able to mark out uh, phases in the history of flowering plants where there have been dramatic surges in diversification and the first of those came right at the beginning and the fascinating thing about that is that Charles Darwin himself was struggling to understand this abominable mystery as he called it of how the higher plants surged in the fossil record right back at their earliest appearance. So we can see that surge, the abominable mystery, unfolding in the molecular fossil record. There are so many things you can do with it. You have colleagues here who want to use our tree to predict where they can hunt for the next medicinal molecules to test for applications such as malarial cures. You can use the tree as a predictive framework, as a roadmap. We often say a little bit like the periodic table to, to find your way through the, the, the sort of melee of the over 300,000 species of flowering plants. There are many, many other uses. I can't think of them all, but I think it provides a platform and a foundation for a whole wealth of, of genomic evolutionary research on flowering plants going on into the decades in the future. It's an amazing study. The task we have next is to deliver a complete tree of, of all the genera with all 13,600 covered.